Welcome to the McKenzie Video Library. In this segment, Rick Carter demonstrates tanning the hide for taxidermy. Tanning is the actual preservation of the skin. Tannins preserve the fibers within the skin, and tanning oil replaces the collagen in the skin. This provides longevity, stretch, and softness. After the skin has been pickled and neutralized, it's time to apply the tanning solution. Remove the skin from the neutralizing solution and let it drain for a minute. I like to roll the skin up in a towel, put one on either side, and the towels help to wick away the excess moisture. After the excess water has been dried, lay the skin out flat and paint a liberal coat of the McKenzie brush on tan onto the entire skin. Avoid painting the tan into the hair, but if a little gets in the hair, it's really not going to hurt anything. Be sure you get a nice liberal coat all over the skin. Roll out the eye, skin, and nasal areas so that the tanning oil can penetrate. Be sure the oil gets on every inch of skin. After you've painted a nice even coat, Fold the skin and cover it with plastic. It needs to stay at least five hours, preferably overnight. The hide has really soaked up the McKenzie tan, so now we're just going to rinse the skin in clear water. Rinsing the skin will get rid of all of the excess oil or residue that might still be in the hair, but it's not washing out the tan. Drain off the excess water, and again, roll the hide in towels to drain off the excess moisture. I'm also going to put a towel inside this skin. I like to roll it up. Once the skin is dried pretty well, you can remove the towels, and that skin really feels good. At this point, it's completely tanned and ready to be mounted immediately, or it could be frozen indefinitely and mounted at a later date. The McKenzie tan will allow you to provide excellent taxidermy work that'll last a lifetime. 